Welcome to Guzzler. So I was away this week. Yes. I don't know if you knew. Yeah. Did you notice? Yeah. You take it. I, worry. Worry. I do worry. Uh, Been care, but I'll notice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a difference. Yeah. So yeah. I went away with my girlfriend's family. Yes. I'm just going to straight out say it. Okay. My girlfriend's mum says some dumb stuff. Okay. <laughs> and I find it hilarious. So one morning I decided I'd just write a few bits and bobs down. Every quote you're about to hear was in the space of about half an hour. This is how the frequency that she says stuff that annoys me <laughs> is so consistent and persistent, it's baffling. Right, I'm not even going to read all of them. I'll read some of them, right? So, we were driving up a hill. She just said to herself, no one ever replies to her, that's another thing. She just stops to herself. She put, we'll be on top of the world in a minute. And then, complete silence, <laughs> and then she just went... What goes up must come down. And then I've written here, followed by maniacal laughter. <laughs> Just to herself, literally to no one. We then went into a glass factory, right. and mm. uh, I said to her, are you going to take a coat? Because like, it was literally pouring down with rain, and she turned to me and she went, it's 1,000 degrees Celsius inside this building, I don't think I need a coat. I don't think it's 1,000 degrees Celsius <laughs> inside the building. The glass is at 1,000 degrees Celsius. We're not there, not, yeah. not. Yeah. Absolutely freezing inside it was. <laughs> and then, oh, here I've written, I've sent you this one, um, she turns to me and she says, I think there are toilets down this way, whilst looking at a sign that says toilets this way. <laughs> right. We bet there wasn't. Yeah, it would, wouldn't oh, it? Yeah. So we were driving, Declan, through a 60 mile per hour zone, right. behind some old man going at 30, right? It happens. She turned to me and she said, he's possibly just gone for a Sunday drive on a Wednesday. What does that mean? <laughs> I love How can that. you go on a Sunday that. drive on a Wednesday? Wednesday. I read one Maybe more. he's gone for a... What, 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 if, what would happen if you went for a Wednesday drive on a Sunday? I don't know. Sunday drive is like... <laughs> Just I, get what, I, I know what she means. Yeah. Sunday drive is where you like... You drive around a bit aimlessly or whatever. But you don't yeah. drive a 30 and a 60. No, true. Or on a Wednesday. When, she, when she goes for a drive on a Sunday next, I'm going to be worried. Yeah. Something's going to die. Alright, I've got two more. This is just, just a quote, and I just thought it was funny. She said, this is about exactly what she said, one of those doggy got soft toy in his mouth. <laughs> that is not that a correct just... sentence. And then last one, we were driving back to the house. There's hills everywhere, it's lovely countryside. She said, looks misty up in here. That's fine, I can mm. deal with that. And then, no one else heard this. I don't think I was meant to hear this. I don't think she knows she said it. Okay. In the quietest voice you've ever heard in your entire life, she just randomly, so she just went, looks misty up in here, low cloud, <laughs> to no one. <laughs> she just whispered low cloud. I don't think she knew she said it. Like, this is like a uh, rap. <laughs> they're, they're falling. Misty up in here. <laughs> yeah, low cloud. Mm. So yeah, that's my story. Wow. There was more, but Good. that's that's the... Yeah. Oh, that. It was horrible. Yeah. You know, she, <laughs> Enjoyed yourself. I nice. to deal with that. Constantly. Incredible. Worse stuff than that. The, the thing that surprised me about all of that is the fact that you went to a glass factory. Uh, I'll be honest, mate. Covid has shut most good places. Yeah, fair enough. The glass factory, though, you just walk around and they're all just at work. It's weird, really? isn't it? You just watch them at work. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the thing. It's not yeah, it's new. When I went to China yeah. last year and th we went to like, we went to like, this jade factory and all these places and yeah, they're, they're all just, they're working. I'm just there like... Yeah, and you literally just watch them work. Nose and over there. That's, that's so like, weird. Yeah, yeah. Guzzler Podcast. So, week, episode seven? Right. Seven. Seven. It's seven. seven. It's seven. We're talking about energy ish. Before we start. But we're going to go all over the place. I'll come, yeah, go on. We've Very got right. other stuff to say. Yeah, to be fair. Us, yeah. First, I'm going to just say we're not drinking beer today. No. I'm going to start with that. We're drinking coffee? Yes. Um, and a nice, relaxed. Yes. Vibe. Episode. Even though it's like 30 degrees outside. It's very hot. In Celsius. Celsius. This, is <laughs> this is really hot as well. But yeah, we are. We're drinking coffee. Um, yeah, and you're leading this episode, which is about... Mm. Yeah. Um, I would just like to quickly say, actually... Oh, one big thing. Declan. Big thing. Big thing? Big. big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sorry, right. Um, <laughs> Nathan. Oh. That's what I said, big. Yeah, no, 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 I swear, he used to get it. Oh, we've yeah. sacked him. We've sacked him. We've sacked him. He's gone. Oof. Anyway, so, yeah. what else did you want to say? Um, so, today is National Dog Day. It's also what? National Women's Equality Day. They're, I assume they're not related. No. <laughs> and Cherry Popsicle Day. 
And I was going to get some cherry popsicles, but didn't think about it. Also, apologies for your ears with Louis keep banging on the table. <laughs> he likes so to, he like to tap. Yeah. Uh, it's also um, Sepsis Awareness Month, Friendship Month, Read a New Book Month, Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month, and Suicide Prevention Month. However, I'd month. argue, yeah, I'd argue that Suicide Prevention should sort of be every month. Yeah. I think a lot of those things yeah. are just every, every month. Friendship month. month for you. Yeah. Should be all the time. Yeah. So this, this month, make sure you go and make cancer some friends. Cancer awareness, did you say? Ovarian cancer. I yeah. mean, like, we shouldn't forget it for the other 11. That's a good point. Good, really good point. Also, National Women's Equality Day, I feel like... It, yeah, exactly. We should have women equality all the time, every day, yeah. yeah. Just, it's your month. Yeah, and same with Cherry Pop Day. <laughs> same with Cherry Pop School Day, you know, that should be ev every day. I don't think that one should be a thing ever. <laughs> you wait till next week. <laughs> uh, right, yes. Um, oh, also, uh, we were going to mention as well that, uh, although it's a couple of weeks ago, because we, we've recorded these in, in bulk, uh, just about what happened in Beirut. It's not a couple of weeks ago for us. No. no. It happened this week for us. Yes. Mm. The things that happened in Beirut, uh, where where, it, what, what I don't know what it was that exploded. I know it's a building, but like, was it ammonium nitrate? No, it was. It, yes, it, well, I remember it yeah, now. Ammonium nitrate. Right. Yeah, but you you told me earlier that. Yeah, the I don't know if you saw this. The what's Beirut leader? Is it a prime minister, a president? Is he whatever? It's probably. It's a whoever the leader. Whoever the leader, 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 leader is a prime minister. One of them. Yeah. He said he hasn't ruled out that it could have been a missile. Right. From like, obviously, like he said, we haven't ruled out uh, external influence, like there, a missile. There, there or was a fire before it blew up. I've seen the video footage. There's no, mi I've seen it. Yeah. I saw the explosion. Yeah. The whole world's seen yeah. the explosion. There was no missile. Yeah, this isn't like 9 11, right? right? Where you see it, I mean, exactly. There's no. Um, did you hear that they heard the explosion 1500 miles away? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So our, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out yeah, to the people of Lebanon. This is really, whatever, whatever happens, it's, it's terrible. Mm. But, um, I don't, I don't know why he thinks it could be yeah. external. Still, yeah. But then he, Lebanon's bad anyway, mm. and they hate him with a passion because he's like a war criminal. So there's loads of things there anyway, and I think if he could put it to an external thing, mm. a lot of times if there's an external oh, danger, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you strengthen yeah. your power. Mm. That's why a lot of people think 9/11 was an inside job. Protect us because that works well for Bush. Mm. With Bush, yeah. Bush, yeah. because if there's an external terrorism and stuff, he, you can unite unite you can the people people. around that. I don't know if that's a thing, mm. but I know that in general yeah. that's a big political thing. But mm. anyway, that doesn't that doesn't matter to the people that were affected by it. No. Obviously, yeah. it's just sad. But. Uh, so, yes, we're, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with energy. Yes, and then see where we uh, where it goes. Where, off, where we go from there. Um, because I have got this looks like a busy amount of notes, but there's not for energy. I'll yeah. say. Basically, you're worrying the scattered. Yes. Not, yeah. I think Dex quite focused. Yes. I'm just here to, you know. Mediate. I know a Mediate. few things. So, what is your first? Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna lead me? I, I thought. I thought Dex would start. So you okay. some stuff down. Oh. What, were we going to talk renewable energy, specifically, or do you want to talk energy in general? So, whatever. What, whatever. I can't suggest to you enough. The first point on my card <laughs> says the Simpsons movie. Why? No, we'll come back to it. I, I keep... No, no, start with that. Like, so you told me earlier you that you were a Simpsons movie, I can't imagine why. Oh. Nuclear. The fish, right? No. Oh, no. <laughs> just, just, just keep, just keep going. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you about it when we get to it. All right, so what types of renewable energy are there? Yeah, I want to talk about it. Start with renewable energy. Wind. Yeah. Water. Hydro. Water. Two different types. Tidal. There. There's tidal. And the one with a dam. Yeah, hydro actually. Yeah. Uh, mm. And it's then like there's. Yeah. Is nuclear? Uh, I don't know if nuclear is renewable. It's clean, actually. but it's not clean, renewable. But it's not renewable. Okay, right. But like, there's a lot of it, but I don't okay. think it. It is naturally occurring as well, but not enough to. And then solar. Like petrol is naturally you occurring. Can't it's not renewable. Yeah, so it's right. not renewable. Yeah, then solar. And it's then, geothermal. Yeah, it's no, geothermal. geothermal works. It's to do with like the heat. The it, they have it in Iceland. Mm -hmm. So they basically. I imagine it turns. Most of them work by turning something, basically. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. They basically shove a turbine down a big mm, hole. That's what I thought. And then, as mm -hmm. the water shoots up, it spins the turbine, and then it just generates electricity. Mm. How does solar turn anything? Solar it doesn't, doesn't. It heats right. up. Solar uses. Okay. It's not really photovoltaics that it uses a completely different thing. Oh. Like it uses like a semi lift type thing. Okay. 
Right. It's quite complicated, but yeah, it gets hot. Oh, yeah. It gets hot and makes That's energy. Fun. But all the others spin some yeah. of them. So like even nuclear power mm. is basically yeah, a big turbine because it yeah. heats up water, which turns yeah, up energy. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know about energy. Yeah. Or nuclear. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Hence, my point, the Simpsons movie. Right. I'm s that's 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 next point. That's what I was making. I was saying you so got you, 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 yeah you got enlightened me today about it. Yeah. What do you want to know? Uh, about nuclear. Right. So we use, we we yeah, make what, what is yeah what nuclear is nuclear energy yeah. for fission at the moment. Yeah. Currently. I keep hearing you say fission. fission. So there's there's two fission. ways to make nuclear. Energy. Oh, there's right. fusion and fission. Right. Fusion is like the sun. Yeah. yeah. The sun fuses stuff, which we can do. It's just high. But it's just such high temperatures that you don't make any energy really. Okay. Because you, you have to put so much, so much energy, energy in there. Yeah, exactly. But once it starts, right. can't really stop. Um, so yeah, that's why we're looking into cold fusion. You've heard right. of cold fusion, yeah. which is where it's at a low enough energy mm. that we, it's worth doing. Basically, right. it's also very, it's like also quite dangerous to be fair. So, nuclear is supposed to be the best. Yeah, I don't know the next point. I was going to. Next word. Like I mean, it's like it's it's better. Why? It's the most efficient. Than why? Why? Because there's no there's no byproducts. There's no negative byproducts. Okay. Other than other than like a little bit of radioactive stuff. waste or whatever. I love your radioactive waste quite bad. No. Why? Because you have to be within quite close proximity to radioactive waste for it to actually be a problem. Okay. But so this is my other thing, right? We have such a distorted view of the mm. dangers. Of, of nuclear Chernobyl. energy because of Chernobyl yeah. and Fukushima, which mm. are like the two biggest things. Mm. The, there was like massive protests in I think it was like the nineties and stuff, eighties mm. as well, against nuclear energy because right. it's seen as so dangerous. Mm. Whereas realistically, it doesn't. It's no more. Da it's way less dangerous than all the other ways you make energy, other like, than like solar panels. Because like coal, mm. if if a coal fire starts, it can't be put out. Oh, it's yeah. so incredibly difficult to put out coal fire. There's a mine somewhere in the world. And it's, yeah, I've seen a picture of this. It's been burning yeah. since the 1600s, mm. and they oh, cannot that, put it out. This is starting to burn, isn't it? Yeah. The whole thing's just on fire. They, you, yeah. they can't put it out. So That's crazy, isn't it? That's mad. Chernobyl's obviously like a big one, mm. and Chernobyl was basically the fault of the Soviet Union. Yeah. They just messed up badly. They just it on the cheap. Yeah, and yeah. then they tried to cover it up, which made it even worse than it should have been. Mm. Have you seen the program? I've seen the program. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. You? Oh, oh yeah, very much. It's really yeah, good. It's really, really good. good. It's really but like, good. You I can see it, from that how you can't blame, you can't mm. say nuclear energy is the problem with that. No. Because someone's used it completely yeah. wrong. They've used it in a, a very I, dangerous way. I, I liken way. it to like aeroplanes, because people are scared of going on aeroplanes, mm. but they rarely ever go yeah. wrong. Exactly. Ever, ever, so, yeah. If they do, everyone dies. Mm. It's another but thing because it doesn't happen that often. There's quite ho high profile, like yeah, when it yeah. does go wrong, yeah, like exactly. it's a very yeah, yeah, yeah. big thing. Hiroshima, yeah, yeah. and everyone yeah. sees it and stuff like that. So the other big, we'll so, move also, on to so I just quickly, oh, you can talk about the other Chernobyl, Chernobyl thing. Yeah, the other one was Fukushima. But I was going to quickly say about Chernobyl. So you can talk about Chernobyl. Was that um, the, on their thing? This is what it is. The 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 thing with the needle, which shows you how much. Got, uh, yeah, here go here. Wasn't it like it was. At the maximum, which was like I don't know, what it was like yeah, 30 they, or something. Yeah, they had like handheld ones, which they just used on the side just to check the radiation yeah. and stuff like that. But it couldn't go high enough because it was just a little handheld thing. They didn't mm, think yeah. they'd actually need mm. to. But they and used it on the site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, I don't know. This is I'm making this number up. It got to like thirty, and it was like that's the most it could go. That's insane. But when they actually looked into it, it was like I don't know. What was it like three hundred thousand or something yeah. like three million? Because they reached yeah. the max of the handheld ones and they were like, well, it's dangerous, but like, it's not that bad. Mm. It's all right. But that was just the highest it could go. It was mm. like, it was a magnitude like a thousand higher than that. And they were mm. like, ah, it'll be all right. Mm. It's just incompetence, so, basically. One of the first responders on the Chernobyl mm. disaster, um, he goes down as one of like the most painful deaths in history mm. Mm. on a morbid note. Yeah. Um, so he was one of the first responders, so it turned out got severe amounts of radiation mm. poisoning because they they, they had no plans yeah. that this was going to happen. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so he goes in and when they got into the hospital he had like some like 17 points of radiation poisoning mm. which you die at 9 yeah. oh, right. um, or you die way before mm. that um, and they kept him alive for 87 days just 
just to do tests on him, then they let him die. Yeah. Yeah. And his skin was melting. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he stepped on the. He literally walks up to it and he's like, "That rock's glowing. That's weird." And he just like holds it, and it's like, and he's they had to cut his shoes off him. Yeah, because his feet got so swollen. And his girlfriend. This is in the show. Yeah. This was crazy to me though. She was pregnant, and she kept forcing him to see him, and they didn't really stop her. And at one point, she like hugs him and stuff. She had a baby in her. I'm pretty sure it was stillborn. Yeah, yeah, it was here. Yeah, yeah. She just, she just had, to, she just couldn't not see yeah. him. But he was, he was just radioactive at that point, and it yeah. killed her baby. Yeah. There was another whole thing. Obviously, the whole the whole thing, thing was, was horrible. horrible. Yeah, but I was gonna say that um, they because it, it like flooded, didn't it? In in part of the plant, mm. and they sent these three people down there with suits on to try and like close these taps underneath, mm. and like in the show, it shows you going down in the dark. They can't breathe. They got these suits on. And their Geiger things are just like the the noise is like through the roof, and all three of them survive. Mm. But I just can't believe that. Like, imagine because they didn't think they were going to survive. No. Imagine being one of those men just risking they life. They said to him, "That was crazy." Yeah. And they went up to him and they said, "We need three of you to die. Yeah. We need three volunteers to do this job. You will not mm. survive. You will die." Yeah. And those men wanted. And I think that like they were okay. And I think that like if it wasn't for the show, I wouldn't have ever heard about them. But they sh- they should be very. I mean, they probably are very decorated heroes in in Russia, but like, well, not in Russia, but like, where is it? Ukraine? Mm. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I just think that like that, that that's that's proper that's a proper hero. Be told you will die, yeah. but you will say yeah. lies so and be like, yeah, okay, I'll do yeah. it. Did you hear that sheep in Wales were affected by the Chernobyl? That's that's really yeah, the because the wind, it, yeah, the wind blew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but they're building a dome over it now, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think they have, haven't they? It's not, it's not, it's not, not, oh, okay. I thought yeah, they had. I I'm sure. Okay. I know they were building a bone. Yeah. Mm, there we go. Fukushima. Yes, Fukushima. Have you heard of Fukushima? Yes, it was after the tsunami. Yeah, yes, it was. So what it was, was after that? a, there was a 9.0 magnitude earthquake. Mm. It's in fact. Yeah, it is, yeah. So you, you've read it. Uh, and a tsunami, whatever. Now, this is the one that caused the most protests. Because I'd say Chernobyl mm. was quite covered up. Um, it was at the time, obviously during the Cold War and stuff. There was them and us, and we were like, that doesn't matter, or whatever. Mm. This is in this is in Japan. This is like a big, big thing. So there's massive, massive protests. Not a single person in the Fukushima disaster died from radio- radiation. Wow. No one. So I, I wrote it down just because four workers were diagnosed with radiation poisoning. Only four, and one of them died like last year. So he hadn't died when the fact mm. was written. So he died now. So yeah. one person died from radiation poisoning. Uh, 160,000 were forced to leave their homes and 19,000 died. But they didn't die from radiation poisoning. They had to leave their homes and they're all pushed into this like, were, small area. A lot of them died because J- Japan has a very, very old um, population. population. Their population is very, very old. A lot of them died from just having the stress of having their homes destroyed right. and having to move. Yeah. Obviously, people died in the earthquake and in the tsunami and stuff. Mm-hmm. But from over here, all we see is that exploded. Radiations everywhere. That's a yeah, disaster. Everyone, but, it didn't. That, but it didn't kill it. There was an earthquake. Yeah. That's very interesting. I think that's very interesting fact. Yeah. So they, basically, they, they my point is the stress of like. Yeah. France mm-hmm. gets almost all of its energy from nuclear power. Mm. Uh, of all the countries in the world, it's the one that gets its most from nuclear power, or it was a couple of years ago anyway. Uh, they've never had any sort of right. incidents or anything like that. So no problems. Where do nuclear weapons? Perfectly safe oh. if you use it right. Right, this, this works well because I, I, I didn't explain fission to you earlier. Right. But that works well for nuclear weapons. Okay. So fission works because you split apart an atom. Right. Right. Mm. Uh, and when you split apart an atom, energy comes out. So why it works so well is to split apart an atom, you have to hit it with a neutron, right? Right. Which is just part of what atoms are made yeah. out of. So say you've got an atom, you hit it with a neutron, that separates, releases right. energy. When it separates, it releases two neutrons. And they hit two more. Yeah, okay. so those two right. hit two more, and then, it's and then they make area. four more. So, so do you make a nuclear weapon inside a... Why do you make nuclear weapons? This is what I'm saying. So energy... Fission is, ex, is an exponential process. Right. Mm-hmm. So it goes one, two, four, yeah, eight, yeah, yeah. and it just gets more and more and more and more and more. Within a fission reactor, so like Chernobyl and stuff like that, we have to slow it down right. because it would be a nuclear bomb that would explode. Okay, right. It just does it automatically because yeah. so much energy is released so quick. Mm. That's how fast it is. It's ridiculously yeah, fast. Yeah. We have to slow it down. So we do that by, you've heard of rods. Yep. They put rods inside it, and that stops some of the uh, neutrons. Okay, right. 
So you can stop solar neutrons just like that. Yeah. Doesn't right. it like send them off in different directions and stuff? Yeah, sometimes we sort of, yeah, 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 we disperse them and stuff okay. like that. So they don't hit other atoms and it doesn't keep going. Mm. In a nuclear bomb, you don't. Right. You touch them together and, and you just it. let the process happen. Right. That's all it takes. Okay. Right, so right. You, it's like normally uranium 235, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of them are uranium, some so, are plutonium. Right. So is that, it's already started that process when we dig it out of the ground? Or do we have to do something to it? To so when we dig out the ground, uranium there's never there's never much uranium together at all. We have to mm. separate it all, mm. or it is all uranium. So there's different you've had isotopes. Mm -hmm. So you've got one uranium thing with a certain number of neutrons in it, and another one with different type of neutrons is it in it. Two thirty five and two thirty eight is one. Right. Is that plutonium? No, that must be that must be uranium. There's different ones anyway. Right. Some are stable, some mm. aren't stable. They're all mixed together. Yeah. We have to take the unstable ones out. But they're not in enough quantity to do anything right. of any harm in right. the ground. We have to separate it and then combine it all together, basically. The, the dangerous one. Right. But as soon as you've got it near each other, it's done. You don't need to do anything. Oh, right. It just keeps you've just got, if you The only reason it's safe in the ground is because it's not near each other. If you get it near each other, enough of it, it's called critical mass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then it happens. So critical mass is when, like, if you've got a small amount, yeah. it's creating more neutrons. But like you said, a lot of them just leave. Yeah. They don't, there's not enough surface for them to hit, mm. so they just leave. If you've got a critical mass together, which is the perfect amount that it starts, it kicks off. then it explodes. Right. So, the bombs. Mm. This is, do you know what the nuclear bombs were called that they dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima? Hydrogen bomb. As in, the bombs have names. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't hydrogen bomb's a different thing. I don't know how hydrogen is worked. Um, yeah, worse. way, way worse. I don't know how hydrogen is worked. I didn't know this. That's what they're called. Danny and Sandy? No, they no, they would really, it yeah. is weird though. It, I, I, weird I, I, I do them, know the amount of harm that these yeah, did. That's you know true, what I, mean? yeah. I did know. So the one they dropped on Nagasaki was called Fat Man, right? And the one they dropped on Hiroshima was called Little Boy. I didn't know it. No, no. No. Okay. I, thought, I thought it was, it was like there's Little Boy and Fat Man. I, I honestly thought it was meaning something like Betty or something. That's what I thought it was. I'll be honest. No. I no. thought it was an actual like name. The um the plane that dropped it was called Another Gay. Do you know song Another Gay? Another Gay. Another Gay. Yesterday. That song? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 can you imagine being the pilot of that plane? It's always on in like things. Like. Jesters. <laughs> <laughs> I probably do know, I just can't think. Can you imagine being the pilot of that plane? Looking mm. back and that mm. mushroom's mm. just gone up, you're going. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah. Are you called like Danny something? Sandy. Danny Sandy, I told you. <laughs> I know, I heard it somewhere. somewhere. Um, but yeah, that, that pop song is about dropping the nuclear bomb. Oh. It's next time you hear it. Jesus. It's weird. Yeah. Um, no, you go. Oh, I, no, seriously, you go. I can't remember what I was going to say. Fine. I'm going to oh, tell you about no, the bomb at some point. Oh, yeah, go on. Oh, go on. Yeah, go on. No, you go on. Uh, Einstein. Yeah. He, he made them, didn't he? I heard of them. Um, no. Mm, or what? he played a part. He was not a bit, yeah, yeah. It's um, nothing. But he wrote to Roosevelt. Yes. And said, oh, I didn't know, under yeah, any yeah. circumstances, do not so was, ever All the people who worked in Manhattan Project signed a letter yeah. to Roosevelt saying, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Do it. So there's always that question of, sh should scientists do this stuff? Because, because they know how. They're assisting with murder. Because they know someone's going to use it badly. But then if they don't do it, someone else is going to do it. Mm. Mm. Uh, it also has, you, you can't really do this work without... Because this created mm. nuclear energy, which yeah. is also useful. So they're doing good work at the same time. Mm. It's a very difficult moral area. I think they did mm. everything they could do. They did it, and they said, "We don't condone. We they, don't. They want to do this. this." Couldn't all scientists just band together and then not make anything? But, I mean, all just, scientists just never, the world. never progress. Yeah. Not when there's a war. Yeah, because they're not going to be like, "You can't like, oi, <laughs> can we just? It's not right." Yeah, do you know what I mean, like, it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, yeah, but. Uh, it's just typical America, just overkill. Mm. We they bombed a prison, so you know what? We're going to kill millions in a nuclear explosion yeah. that will last hundreds of years, thousands of years. The thing with the obviously Japanese are famous for like they wouldn't stop. Mm. What well, you said, Japanese are famous for, and you pause a sec, ask me like anime. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the real <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. that's where um, like kamikaze fighters come from and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So I mean that is. I, mean, I actually am not for dropping the bombs. I think it was a bit dramatic. The US hated it's spirit. It's a bit dramatic. It's a bit much, wasn't it? The US hated spirit away that much. Yeah, yeah. This. <laughs> this. Right. Yeah. Uh, how the nuclear bombs work? It's quite interesting. Mm. So, Fat Man. 
It's so weird, isn't yeah. it? Fat Man. Fat Man was dropped in Nagasaki and it was a plutonium bomb. And it was an implosion bomb. So basically, all I said, like I said earlier, you've mm. just got to get enough of it together and it explodes. So all yeah. you've got to work out is how can I, get at some point before it hits the ground, get this stuff to touch. Mm. Um, so I don't really know how Fat Man that well. It's called Fat Man because it was a big, fat old bull. Uh, and then when it got to a certain pressure, it imploded in on itself. So oh, you had some right. plutonium mm. on the outside, some plutonium on the inside. And then the ball crushes in, and then it's all touching, and then it explodes. Mm -hmm. But that one I find so it, cr it crushes in the air. Uh, no, it had it had explosions in it, but it was right. it was wired to notice the pressure because it's right. a good way of telling when it was near the ground. Yeah, yeah, Do you when know it's what I mean? like yeah, a thousand yeah. feet off the ground. Or yeah, yeah, because obviously pressure increases as you fall, mm -hmm. so it was like when it reaches a certain mm -hmm. pressure, it had loads of different ways of telling it was yeah. in the right place because they didn't want to blow up. They didn't want to blow up far away from Nagasaki, obviously. You got mm -hmm. to just explode in the air, and you also didn't want it to explode in the plane. That's a good point. Yeah. And just kill the, just the pilot. Yeah. Uh, so they had loads of different things. But that, that one's right. boring anyway. I hate that one. Now, Little Boy, this is the one I find interesting. That. <laughs> so Little Boy was a uranium thing, right. and it was a gun type bomb. Within the bomb was a gun. Oh, I did oh, yeah, 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 have this. Yeah. So it has a bullet. Mm -hmm. uh, the original idea was to have a bullet mm -hmm. of uranium, and then like a blob of uranium with a bullet shaped hole in it. Right. When it gets to a certain height, it just fires one bit of uranium into the other. But they found out that doesn't work very well. Um, I can't remember why. It's, it's like to do with like surface mm -hmm. area and yeah. stuff. So instead, the gun fired a big bullet with a hollow bit in it, and it like slotted around what it shot onto, if you know what I mean. Right, yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I just find yeah. it crazy that like it fell, it noticed when it was near the ground, and it just like fired one bit of uranium into the other, and then done, there's your bomb. That's, yeah. You can't believe that genuinely that as a world we were ever even enough to do something like that. Mm. To so just human when they're, when they're making it, mm. like is the uranium, can they touch it? Because obviously it's not together. Is it radioactive? Before it's still radioactive. It can still right. do a lot, a lot of damage to you. Oh, it's okay. just not at the point where it's, um, it's not reached the critical mass so it will explode. Right, okay. But it's still all, it's still decaying the exact same. Right. Basically, it all, it all decays the same, there's just not enough neutrons to right. make it right. exponential. It really is like the most evil, it is the most evil thing in the world. So I read a book called The Making of the Atomic Bomb right. by Richard Rhodes. I say read, I've read about 300 pages. It's like 1,500 pages. Oh my god. But at the end, mm. there's loads of interviews they did with people who were in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Mm. And they're just talking about like the things they saw and the things that happened and stuff like that. And it's absolutely like you don't realise how bad it was. I'm gonna tell you a few. So one guy, the bomb hit, uh, it ripped off all the skin on his arms and legs. He just had no skin. And then he needed to he needed to get somewhere. He was like, What do I do? Like everywhere's mm. just like completely destroyed. Uh, and he saw opposite this river, someone was helping some people out. Yeah. So, but he thought, how can I get from this side of the river to the other? Do you know how he did it? Any guess? I don't want to guess. He crawled across the corpses that were floating in the river. Because it was that full of just dead people. He just crawled across the bodies to get to the other side of this river to get some help. It's crazy, isn't it? You're both just like... That's... And then I'll tell you one more. Uh, a little girl, she was like five, I think, mm. and she was, she was kind of okay, I think. I think she was in a good spot or whatever. But she said, all she remembers is she walked out into the street, mm. and the first thing she saw was a man running along, but both his feet had been blown off, so he was just running on stumps, just his leg stumps, and he was just screaming, and he was on fire, and all his hair was gone. And he was just running on like his leg stump. So if you thought it was bad before what we did, yeah. well, I say we, the Allies, mm. like, that's how bad it was. These people had nothing to do nothing with it. Nothing to do with it at all. At all. So why did we do it? To, to stop Japan. Japan wouldn't have stopped. It's just otherwise. overkill. But like... It was a quick way to end the war. The, the argument is, more people would have died if we didn't do it. Yeah, you can't confirm that. In a less horrific way. And, for less and, horrific and, after and the people who'd signed up to the war, you'd hope. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. not just You'd like, kill soldiers, you'd hope, yeah. in bigger proportions so than just civilians people. and... Mm -hmm. Children. Animals, loads of animals just got like, like ripped the, apart. The, if you go to Japan now, there's still outlines of people yeah, yeah, in, um, that just mm, evaporated. Yeah. In Hiroshima, there's like, where's, I'm, it was this console or something, and it 
we was one of the only buildings that still stand there. Still, they left it just completely as it. There was as one. It, there was one man who was from Hiroshima or from Nagasaki. I can't remember which way around it was, and he visited the other city. Right. You ever heard that? No. Saying he was from Hiroshima, I can't remember which way around it was, or which one was first. He visited Nagasaki when the bomb was dropped, but he survived. Then he travelled home. Oh, uh, yeah. And the other, and the other one was dropped, and he survived. Mm. So he was in both places. He saw both being dropped. Hell. That's crazy, isn't it? Imagine seeing that bomb dropping from that plane and just being like, well, what's going on here then? And then all of a sudden, just. If you vaporise. Depends on close you are, but yeah, if you, if you own it, that's it, isn't it? That's, that's uh, do you know how big the blast radius was? I do not. No, I actually don't. Have you seen that picture of the arch? There's a wooden arch yeah. that was there before and after the bomb. It's just one single oh, wooden yeah. arch. It's still there today. Mm. Mm. Um, so on, on, a, on a more positive note, yeah, I'm gonna tell you up. That's the darkest well, we've ever got. I think. Yeah, I think it will be the darkest we, we ever get. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I, I had, I heard that when they, <laughs> when, <laughs> <the grapevine. laughs> when they use the nuclear stuff in yeah. the factory, what's it called? Power plant. Yeah. Whatever, Whatever. Yeah. yeah. They put it in the ground. They're done with it. Mm, the waste. Yes. Mm. And they said that's fine. You just put it in the ground, mm. and we know it's there. Yeah, that's that's done. That's fine. No, that's not. That. No, because right. <laughs> so h- how long roughly is there going to be humans left on this planet? Do we don't know. Give me a number. No idea. Okay, no so, idea. so we say like I don't know. Yeah. Fine. Let's say ten thousand years, right? Mm, Probably longer. Long. Yeah, but I'm just say ten thousand years. Ten thousand years from now, right? Is there still going to be a sign there that's just like, don't go, don't dig this? So. Because someone might just dig it up and then. <laughs> And then everyone's when gone. nuclear waste, yeah. nuclear waste is dangerous because it's decaying. Yeah? yeah. When it decays, it decays into just a safe version of what it is, right? Right. Say you got uranium or something, and it's decaying, yeah. or like anything that's decaying, it will just yeah. decay into a safe version of itself. Right. So eventually, what we end up with is a safe rock. It still has some dangerous bits mm. in it, but it's fine. Like normal ground. Like I said earlier, we get uranium out of normal yeah. ground, right? Mm. So it's not actually dangerous for that long. Right. Is the thing. Like, yes, that will still be decaying for mm. millions, millions of years. years. Yeah. It won't be dangerous for that long. Do you know what I mean? I just think that... And also, like, we still know the dangerous stuff, right? We still know the dangerous chemicals. Like that, and then nitrate, which well, now you, dangerous. Now you mentioned it, maybe we shouldn't. Bombs store that, we let them store that. Yes. N- nukes are all over the country, we missiles are all over the country. We still have bubonic plague somewhere. Yes. We have yeah, exactly. But I just think we still loads of stuff. Yeah. And like it's done a good job. Yeah, for it's us. It's only dangerous if you like Use hold it. it for ages and lick it and hold it and like. <laughs> but we're just Brain thinking about ourselves. Yeah, 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 exactly. We're just thinking about ourselves. We're not thinking about two thousand years time when some little kid comes up and like it's got a sandcastle. Yeah, that's all. We're, we're not putting it in the beach. Spade. We're not going to understand it. Yeah, We've only yeah. ever thought about ourselves. Yeah, that's horrible, isn't it? On a side note, with Ooh. his hair, Floor. <laughs> Boy, Floor it. It's just all over the place. Then my my girlfriend cut it. That's that's probably why. <laughs> Alternatively, yeah. we use coal and all that stuff we're using at the mm. moment, and we just destroy the planet completely. Mm. Okay, so this this is a good transition point now to renewable energy. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Can I quickly just mention Simpsons? Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, Do I have no point. I have no say. point about Simpsons. I remember when I was writing these, my notes the other night, I thought, in my head, this is how, how it went. I was going, God. I was falling asleep, and I was just like, imagine if we just dug that up. Like, it always could go wrong. And I was like, in my head, I said to myself, we're all sitting in Simpsons movie, aren't we? And I wrote my note down, and I was like, I don't know what point is. That's it. That is That's it. That's what I wrote. wrote. We're all sitting in Simpsons movie. Oh, I mean, I think it's doing waste. Because in Simpsons movie, he dropped all the waste, mm-hmm. and then he dumped it on the river. Yes. That's well, why I, I think my point. Oh, maybe so. I think my point is going to be that they're going to put a dome over us if we're not careful. Right. Okay. The world. Yes. Who's they putting dome over? On this flat earth. <laughs> oh, shit. Go on. He's had enough. Yeah, man. That was my point, mate. <laughs> right. Renewable energy. Um, and it, it kind of links back to the type civilizations that we were talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I looked it up. Yeah? yeah? Nice. I still can't remember that guy's name, though. So, yeah, it was a long Russian name. Beans of an hour. Be gone. Um, so, Type 1 civilizations can uh, use all of the available energy to us on mm-hmm. the planet, mm-hmm. right? So you'd think that is renewable and clean energy that doesn't destroy the planet itself. Yeah. What types of renewable energy do we have? 
We did it earlier. Yeah. Yeah, we just said sources, not types. What do you mean? So we said like wind. Yeah, yeah. And we use wind. Wind turbine. Uh, right, so have you heard about the floating wind turbines? I haven't, no. That's have, you know Big Hero 6, yeah. the floating wind oh, turbines? Okay. So they've made, the, the company have, has made one. You haven't seen Logan. Yeah, yeah go on. A company has made a floating wind turbine. Yeah. Right. right. Nice. The company. Uh, this. I actually wrote something down for a change. <laughs> right. Um. It's called. They're called flying wind turbines, and it's made by Alter Alteros Energies. Mm -hmm. right? right. And basically, they just put a big turbine in the middle of like a blimp, but they've cut the ends off the blimp. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it's just right, like yeah. a donor yeah. yeah. with yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they attach it to a building. Yeah. So it floats higher in the sky than a normal mm. wind turbine, like way higher. Mm. And then the uh, stronger winds in the upper mm. air um, spin it. Okay. It can produce twice the amount mm. of what a normal ground wind turbine can. Mm. And once it's up there, it never has to come down. Mm. Mm. So as long as a bird a plane, doesn't yeah. hit exactly, them, yeah. but I think it goes high enough that birds don't get up there. Mm. So as long as the plane doesn't smack into mm. it, they are completely self-sufficient and amazing. produce loads of energy. Another thing is fuels. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they've found an algae. Algae produce oils. Yeah. And they can bioengineer uh, algae now to produce biofuel. Right. Um, and uh, it doesn't say how much algae can produce it, but they've worked out that a certain amount of algae for, can produce 9,000 gallons of biofuel that you can use in your cow. That's pretty cool to be fair. Someone I know used to, his mum used to make biofuel. Really? And I said to him, was it good? Like, did you get a lot of miles out of it? Like, and he said, no, uh, just broke a cup. Ah. Yeah, it was just fish for a while. Just immediately, yeah. It was just terrible, um, and like, yeah. a lot of, New types that are coming up are like see-through solar panels, so you can put them as windows. That's cool. That's, that's, cool. that's really cool. Solar panels? Do you have anything else with solar panels? No. So another thing with solar panels are looking at doing is put them in space. You just have them over the earth because we can we can beam energy down to earth mm -hmm. like quite easily basically. Like once right. you've got energy, you can. It's quite easy to bring it down to us. Do you know what I mean? Uh, mm, yeah. So right. if we have solar panels in space. Uh, so the like, sun loses a bit of energy when it comes through the atmosphere and mm. stuff like that and uh, obviously it's not always in sunshine mm. it's not going to be either in orbit but like you're not going to you haven't got a risk of like shade or cloud or anything like mm. that it's just in, it's there so that's something else they're looking into um, they're looking at ways to make energy wireless mm. so instead of having to plug your telly in mm. there's just a box sitting on the back of the telly and uh, maybe a box in your skirting board Mm. And it just sends en energy to your yeah. telly. Mm. How's it? I mean, so that's, that's a similar thing with them sending the energy. Yeah, yeah. The and it's just that, but at the moment it's not like I don't that's think they've found a way to do it like perfectly safe. Sound or something. That's just really amazing. I was gonna say that in um, wind turbines, that it's like you have to use them for like twenty years or something. But to wind turbines now, yeah, to like basically pay back the amount they cost to like get yeah. them. Yeah. However, the wind turbine in the town where we live, cold. The, the one actually in our town. Oh right. Has recently been taken down, and it hasn't Has been it? up. Yeah, and hasn't been up twenty years. Yeah. Oh, so so what's the point? Yeah. Um, Why did they take it down? Uh, well, they haven't took the thing down, but they've took the propellers. Propellers off. Propellers. Wings. Yeah. Did you um, ever go to wings. the wind farm as? Uh, yeah. I have. Yeah. 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 So, stupid facts about well, facts about stupid wind turbines mm. is. They have to be going all the time, basically, yeah. to not break. Right. But if there's not enough wind, mm. you have to put energy into it yeah. to turn the turbine. Yeah. Mm. So it's just a big waste of money. Yeah. However, in Scotland, there is enough wind, and they can just about go completely renewable on wind. Mm. Um, Elon Musk has said that if, if they put, so in China, there's a lot of in, uh, inhabitable areas, and he said if you put, if you just fill the ha inhabitable areas with solar panels, mm -hmm. they could power the whole of China off so solar alone. It's crazy, yeah. And have some mm -hmm. left over. But it always makes me think, like, what about Australia? 
Because that's all desert. Yeah, it's just like desert, yeah. Why don't they just bang mm. a load of... That's true. Is it windy? Oh, sun. 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 Solar. I don't want yeah. <laughs> It's windy for solar panels. Yeah. 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 yeah, why don't they just bang a load that's in the middle point. and then... Yeah, I think... Yeah. The world's definitely going renewable, though. Oh, yeah. It's, it has to be. It has to. It so... It literally has no choice. Exactly. You're going to mention... What? No, go on. What, no, I just, you think I'm I'm just, you just stress me out. Just go <laughs> on. <laughs> Don't say Simpsons again. I'm punching the <laughs> face. Toilet paper. Oh, right. this is not what I thought you were going to get. Toilet paper? Yeah. It's going to be the heat energy rubbing your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so toilet paper is quite bad, yeah? Because, like, it's paper. You cut down up trees to use the toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. Can you... Would you be able to get renewable? Is toilet paper not biodegradable? Yeah, and it's renewable. Is it? Well, that's in the wrong you can replant the trees. How about... Bad, All right, fine. Let me, let me, you want to be usable. We could just have those, what are they called? Sponge on a stick. What are they called? Were they water? Oh, B-day. B-day. Yeah, <laughs> that is what it's called, yeah. Why are we so young? Actually, the they're actually like way more hygienic yeah. than... That's what I mean. Exactly. Yeah. But people mm. don't want wet bum, do they? But that's not wet for long, is it? No, no. you dry it. You dry it, yeah. So what's the... the same way that like, people, like, people actually, go in the shower because they might get wet. It's also vastly more... Um, Good for the environment. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We solved the world. Uh, I don't think I have to mention any more points. I'll be no, honest. Please don't. Um, <laughs> hang on. What's the five biggest killers of the world? I don't like. Try, try and answer it the best you can. The five biggest killers of the world, as in, what things? I wrote the number five, then I wrote five words. So. I don't know what the bit in the middle is. What are the five things that... Yeah. Quickly, this is related to what you just said. The, the rhetoric around saving the planet really angers me. Oh yeah, it annoys me. Yeah. Right. It's like, we need to save the world. We need to save the planet. No. Because it's not true. Yeah. We want to save ourselves. Yes. The planet doesn't care. No. The world no. has no... It will still be around when we go. It care less. When we're dead and it's inhospitable, it doesn't matter to Literally, the Earth. if all humans disappeared right now, they worked out in something like 500,000 years, mm. it would be exactly as it was before humans showed up. That's what I mean. Mm. We want to save ourselves. Mm. That's Half more nuclear waste we're putting in the ground. Yeah, but that would decay, and eventually it wouldn't affect anything. What annoys me about it is I think if, if it was we need to save ourselves, more people would probably care about it anyway. That's true. I don't know why they've used the Save the Planet thing in the first yeah. place, to be honest with you. You want to relabel it? Yeah, yeah. Right. we need to save ourselves. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, what save five ourselves. ways are killing ourselves? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's easy. No, what five things? I don't know what the thing is I'm trying to say. Making the world in a is that Yeah. What right. Is that what you mean? Yeah, but I've written that. You mean killing the planet, but yeah. like... Is it five uh, ways we go extinct? No. Global warming, is that one? Climate change. Yeah. Yeah, that's one. There you go, then. Right. Um, oh, Try natural disaster. Or, no. It's, I mean, I don't know the rest of the <laughs> sentence. This is going to be hard. <laughs> yes, we oh, know we've been asked. Asteroids. No. The sun explodes. Nuclear war. A no. black hole. No. Sucks us up. Deforestation. All right. Pollution. Now, I must admit to you. Surely pollution and... Is it the five biggest causes of climate change? No, because climate change is climate one change of them. them. But surely pollution is... You haven't heard the next change. two yet. Or like, basically, you go. Oh, I don't know what the next two mean. Where'd you get this from? Buzzfeed. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, this is a... Uh, I don't know where I got this from. Mail online. Just let him say it. Biodiversity? I don't know what it means. This has been a shit episode for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. And this is and where... Oh, this is is sorry, the everyone. Simpsons, it's it? not his day today. It is really The where... Simpsons, the Mel is shit. <laughs> This is really where it takes no turn. Yeah. Water. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what the question was. Can, can we censor this? What does You're water a fucking mean? <laughs> I'll, I'll beat that. What does water um, mean? I have no idea. I know what water is. Well, what? Like, let me look at you. Do you know that like drinking water? Literally, it says five, and then let me consult <laughs> these He's literally notes. just put five, biodiversity, water, deforestation, pollution, and climate change. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, on these nights, I also put the number five. Then, uh, fine. Do you fine. Know? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, my my last thing is, and we shouldn't go into this today. Well, what time are we on? Uh, Forty-five. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, I'm happy. <laughs> the rest of the episode went well, mate. Yeah, we should go into it. Next episode, you should try and like. 
Yeah. Redeem is. <laughs> I, I just wrote uh, Thunder. Right. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. Mm. Uh, so you're right. No, save the planet. Ow. Don't know, save the planet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Like, we'll, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing, is it? Yeah, I'll, I'll preach rage up and just save the planet. How should we do it? I mean, hats it. off to her. Oh, I wish I did that when I was 16. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, yeah. present some usable solutions. She says, like, it's oh. time for big change. All right. Yeah. We need to rebel. All right. Do yeah. what, though? Like, speak up. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I heard you the first time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you, you just, it's, it's like me going, you're all going to die. What do you mean to do about it? Uh, I don't know, but we're all going to die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Did you read the book? Uh, no, I've, I've really got a little way into it. Yeah. I haven't read it either. I just know you've got it. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about books next week, actually, frankly. All right. Yeah. Um, Alfie. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that, right. was, that was... Is that anything else? That's, no, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Thank you for listening. I don't think there was much energy in there. So so what did you think to your coffee? And, and stuff like that. Uh, what coffee was it? Oh, no, not... Tesco. Tesco, nice, nice yeah. Tesco brew. Yeah. Who's on it? Uh, it's nice, it's changed now in beer, isn't it? It's a bit of a change. Nice. What are we yeah. drinking next week? Uh, we'll find out next week. Beer? Coffee? Maybe so. we so we've got some beers to, uh, to do. Next week, anyway, what are we doing next week, Edwin? Uh, what are we doing next week, though? It's your what thing. are we talking about? Oh, oh crime. 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 Not crime. just like what we're doing, like, yeah. busy. <laughs> Crime. Um, crime? Uh, we, we promised next week that Louis will put his brain back in his head. And you Have you written anything better? Yeah. Crime. We saw it. Cool. Um, I, I was going to quickly say about uh, just when you keep getting asked questions oh, yeah. about it. Heather. Um, Heather. So I Heather. thought that we should talk a little bit about uh, hobbies. Mm. All right. Now, when I asked the other day what her hobbies was, she told me noodling. Mm. And I'd, I'd never really heard of noodling before. Do you know what noodling is? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what noodling is? Remind me. So she was fishing. That's what noodling is, fishing. Oh, yeah, she's talking about this. With, yeah. the, with her hands? Yes. Yeah, yeah, But you just... That. You just fish with your hand. Where does she do it? Really? In, in her fish pond, it's just like... Yeah, river, <laughs> I suppose, yeah. I don't know. I actually don't know. But <laughs> that's in her own pond. Yeah, just catch the fish and throw them back in. Gotcha! <laughs> but I think that's a very cute, that's a cool hobby. Is it? I mean, can you do it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Have you ever caught a fish in your hand? I reckon I could. How do you do it, though? Because you got to, like, lure it in. You can't just, like... You, you, you go. <laughs> yeah, you go in the yeah. water. You go... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you then it's like, just chuck food in or something, and then, like... You can't just you can't just stand at the side of a river <laughs> and grab a fish. Uh, and then so what well, you said when you went fishing, just throw a bit of bread in, and when it comes yeah, to the top... Yeah, And then you just, like... Yeah, maybe. You'll be quick, don't you? I'm very quick. <laughs> <laughs> You're about as agile as a triangle, mate. Anyway, I'm. You have to try with her. You have to go with her. And um, yeah, yeah, another thing she does is soap carving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. bloody hell! All right, that's that's quite a random one. But nonetheless, what? What? Nothing. What are you gonna say? Why do you carve soap though? Like, do you? What do you do with it? Do you just carve it. Yeah, just make it into like a. Oh, in my head, it's got a shift. Just yeah. <laughs> when? <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> they do cope so, so yeah, yeah, oh my god so in prison so like she is, yeah. Mm. Do you think it came from that? Maybe. I don't know. Well, when she when she done time inside, <laughs> she <laughs> yeah, she did let out the that was a kind yeah. of soap. Alright. Um, that's all. That's Thanks it. for listening. See you next Thank week. Much listening. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you for watching this Guzzler video.